Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education video series. Did you know that if you slide bingo cards into page protectors, they will become dry erase boards? And here, here's one that I've already created so you can see what I mean. Basically, this one is used, I've used it to create upper and lowercase practice. So when the kids are learning their upper and lowercase alphabet, if you want to have a bingo game, especially with little kids, and they have to try to balance the cards, and if they move the card at all, the little squares that are covering the ones that you've called out can slide off. It is so much easier to use it by sliding it into a page protector. This bingo card now becomes a dry erase board. So if I, as the teacher, if I say, um, I want you to cover the lowercase h, all they have to do, they can exit or, depending on what system they want to use, if you say, um, I want you to mark the capital B. So they can circle whatever system they want to use. It's so much easier to work with. And when the game is over, it's really simple because it's done with a dry erase marker to just get rid of all those marks and start over with a fresh game. Now, in order to do this, you have to make your bingo cards. So what I did was, you can get page protectors, they're inexpensive and they come in boxes of like 50 at the office supply store. So because they're eight and a half by 11, I wanted to trim my paper just a little so that it would slide into the page protector. You can see like so. What you want to do is you want to measure so that you have the five squares going across and five going down. This, if your kids are older, this would be something for them to do. It's for them to figure out how to measure in order to get five equal squares going across and five going down. And I've left a space at the top where I'm going to actually put the title. I'm calling it bingo, but what's kind of fun is the kids can call it whatever they want when they make it up. It's the beauty of making it yourself. Then I've gone back and I've actually used white tape in order to cover over my pencil lines. You can use a darker marker, a crayon, just anything to make those lines really stand out so the grid is really obvious. I've taken another die cut and placed it in the center for the free square. And then it's a question of picking the skill. In this case, if you want to do upper and lower case alphabet. So what you want to do is place the letters. So here I have an uppercase letter. And when the kids are young enough, if you have a lowercase letter, it's helpful to have two different colors. And that way they know that if it's this lighter yellow, it's going to be in a uppercase letter. And if it's this darker shape or color, it's going to be a lowercase letter. And I'm realizing, see, here's the beauty of making it yourself. If you realize that you've inadvertently created something you don't want, you just can move these to other places. But all you're going to do is glue all your uppercase and your lowercase letters on to the, the board itself, slide it into the page protector. So you create a really fun game for the kids. You know, it's handy for the kids to simply circle their bingo numbers and then erase them when it's time to start a new game.